any major takeaways from, from film that we didn't talk about Saturday? Same. Um, turn the ball over that many times, give them two touchdowns, and get that many penalties, be hard to win. So exactly what we thought it was. What do you start with when it comes to the procedural penalties on the offensive line? It starts with your focus and uh, understanding and the environment. That's what it is. I mean, it's uh, you can't jump off sides. I mean, you can't go backwards before the ball's even snapped. So totally unacceptable. Off. Is there a common thread? Jumping off sides. Jumping off sides. I mean, was anything particular caused it that you can correct? Um, well, it's we we use both live cadence and a crack count or a silent count uh, when it got louder. We've done both uh, throughout the year, so there's no excuse. You guys are pretty good at understanding the whole team scheme. Do you have to do anything to keep the defense from being upset at the offense, putting no. them in bad spots or anything like no. that? I mean, it's, it's a team game. Always has been, always will be defensively. Did some good things, and don't dispute that, but um, you can make a really good argument if we come out and play better in the first series that you hold them to a field goal. So. Big bag with a quarterback situation. How would you assess the quarterback play? Uh, we got to take care of the ball better. Otherwise, I mean, obviously that's a big issue. But yeah. Otherwise, um, I think Brandon is an explosive athlete, maybe the most explosive athlete on our offense right now. And so the things he can do, running and throwing the ball when he's making good decisions, and uh, you know, not every turnover is on the quarterbacks all the time. I mean, the sack fumble we had seven guys in protection they had a five-man rush so we had a breakdown uh, lost our feet and there was a sack fumble um, the quarterback has the ball last so it's you know obviously you want him to to take care of it but there's other people involved same with the you know we got to run the right route and so it's not always just the quarterback is it now just a one quarterback rotation yeah, we'll it? we'll do what's best for our team so we might go back to two everything's on the table we're looking for consistency. So. As Brandon plays more and more, are you seeing kind of a week-to-week -week improvement in him just from getting experience? Yeah, I mean, Brandon did some really good things. He did some really, really good things. We got to take care of the ball better. It's just, at the end of the day, we can't turn it over. Everybody under knows that, it's, you know, it's obvious, but we have to, you know, we all got to learn from it. We understand that, but we actually, I've got to go out and perform. So. When you say everything's on the table, is there a chance that some of the younger guys can break into the rotation on offense? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Anything else, guys? Thanks. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.